In the Old Testament, the enslavement of the Israelites is a prophetic picture of humanity in sin. The human race wallows under the oppressive darkness of sin. Sin strips all of its prisoners of dignity, divinity, and destiny. And deep within, the soul of every person cries out for freedom. And we serve a God who can hear those cries. Moses was tending the flock of his father-in-law when he came to encounter the presence of the Holy Spirit. In Exodus chapter 3, the scripture says, One day Moses was tending the flock of his father-in-law Jethro, the priest of Midian. He led the flock far into the wilderness and came to Sinai, the mountain of God. There the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a blazing fire from the middle of a bush. Moses stared in amazement. Though the bush was engulfed in flames, it didn't burn up. This is amazing, Moses said to himself. Why isn't that bush burning up? I must go see it. When the Lord saw Moses coming to take a closer look, God called to him from the middle of the bush, Moses, Moses. Here I am, Moses replied. Do not come any closer, the Lord warned. Take off your sandals for you are standing on holy ground. I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. When Moses heard this, he covered his face because he was afraid to look at God. There in scripture, we see the fire, the Holy Spirit's presence appear before Moses. A voice speaks from the fire. Then God declares his ability to see and hear the suffering of his people. Then in verse 7, the Bible says, Then the Lord told him, I have certainly seen the oppression of my people in Egypt. I have heard their cries of distress because of their harsh slave drivers. Yes, I am aware of their suffering. Moses then discovers that God had chosen him to be used as the instrument of deliverance. The fire of heaven, the Holy Spirit, burns for the salvation of the oppressed. He can hear their cries. There is no one on earth more passionate about the winning of the lost than the Holy Spirit himself. He desires to break the chains of sin from every soul. He is the spirit of evangelism. Acts chapter 1 verse 8 says, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you will be my witnesses telling people about me everywhere in Jerusalem, throughout Judea, in Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. What happens when the Holy Spirit comes upon you? The same thing that happened to Moses when he encountered the fire of God. The same thing that happened to the early church that spread from Jerusalem and to the ends of the earth. They became witnesses. They became vessels of deliverance. A sign that you have experienced a true encounter with the Holy Spirit is a passion to win souls. After coming into contact with the fire of God, Moses was determined to see God's people go free. Up until that time, he spent decades in the mundane. All it takes is one touch from the Lord, a single moment with the Holy Spirit to set your heart ablaze for the lost. When you spend time with the Holy Spirit, His heart becomes your heart. His desires become your desires. You begin to see what He sees. You begin to hear what He hears. Whenever I find myself in a crowded place, I look around at all the people moving in and out of my line of sight. I wonder where they are going and whether or not they know the Lord. My heart bends toward them and I can hear in the spirit their cries. Can you hear the cry of the lost? Can you hear the cry of the drug addicted longing to be free from self-hatred and bondage? Can you hear the cry of the broken families searching for a reason to hope again? Can you hear the cry of the suicidal, the self-righteous, the fearful, the perverted, and the prideful? Can you hear the cry of a sin-bound people? The Holy Spirit can. And when you come near to Him, your being also will be set aflame with a passionate love for the lost soul. You will burn with a holy dedication. You will become burdened with divine compassion. Your heart will ache with spiritual anguish. Everything in you will live to see just one more soul set free. Like Moses, you've been appointed as a deliverer. You've been sent to a people. You've had contact with a fire. The Holy Spirit is that fire, the fire of evangelism. I'm David Diga Hernandez, and that is your Moment of Truth. For more free videos like this and to stay directly connected with me, sign up to my emailing list for free by going to davidhernandezministries.com slash email. Thank you for watching Encounter TV. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Also, help us spread the gospel of Jesus Christ in the power of the Holy Spirit. Make a one-time donation 
or become a monthly supporter by clicking on the donate link now.